Breathing is something most of us take for granted. However, this exposes our lungs to the outside world and all the pollutants and infectious agents such as bacteria, viruses and fungi present in the inhaled air. The airways of the lungs are protected from these pollutants and infectious agents by the mucus, the gel-like substance which is produced by cup-shaped cells called goblet cells in the airway lining. Mucus traps bugs and pollutants which are then removed from the lung by cells which have hair-like structures called cilia on their surface. The cilia beat together to form a moving escalator carrying the mucus and any trapped material out of the lungs. This process is known as mucociliary clearance. This clearance system can break down in certain lung diseases. If mucus is too thick and sticky such as in cystic fibrosis or the cilia cannot beat efficiently such as in primary ciliary dyskinesia, this can cause infection, airway blockage and lung tissue damage. To treat these diseases, we need to understand precisely how mucociliary clearance works so that we can design drugs to improve outcome for patients. To study mucociliary clearance, researchers typically use animal mammalian models, particularly mice, to either mimic disease or study the impact of pollutants and infectious agents. But because of where the lungs are in the body, it is difficult to study the precise details of mucociliary clearance and often requires invasive techniques. In our lab, we are developing a new, non-invasive model to study mucociliary clearance. We use a tadpole stage of a frog called Xenopus tropicalis, which has both mucus-producing goblet cells and ciliated cells on the surface of the skin, making it like an inside-out human lung. In order to be able to see mucociliary clearance, we are engineering the tadpoles to make fluorescent mucus, as well as producing fluorescent cilia on their surface. This model system will allow us to study mucociliary clearance and mimic infectious environmental and disease challenges faced by the human lung. Also, it will provide a new and quicker way to screen drugs aimed at correcting defective mucociliary clearance. Crucially, all these studies can be done in real time and in a non-invasive way without compromising the animal. This offers a realistic possibility of replacing mammals, in particular mice, in our research field. My name is Dr Eamon DeVacy from the University of Manchester. This research is funded by the NC3Rs, the National Centre for Replacement, Refinement and Reduction.